Gail's Garden, Herbs, and more. Okay, I wasn't going to do my Azure Standard Haul this month because most of what I ordered didn't come in. But you know, that's kind of what is happening everywhere. And it's such a great company with all the non-GMO organic foods that they have that's of good quality that a lot of people have moved their uh, moved their ordering to Azure Standard because they want to take part in that. Um, but yeah, this is the first time it's been used. I mean, sometimes I will get one or two things that might have, they ran out of stock, but this time almost everything I ordered did. I got two things and I thought, you know, no, I'm going to go ahead and let you know really how it is so you don't get too discouraged. You be prepared for it because, you know, they're really working hard at getting food out to the people, but so many people have come over to them and it's not, um, I haven't heard them say this, but just looking at all the stores and everything, it doesn't look like stuff's coming in real easy anywhere, but I can understand their problem of so many people all at once. But they've been working really, really hard to get the food out to us, and their food is so good. So I wanted to go ahead and um, do a video about that. Before I get started on what I did get, and one is a little different and unusual, I wanted to give a review of something that I got last month that I've been using, and that was Azure Market Organic Whole Milk Powder. Now, this milk powder that I get out of the store, ugh, I can't stand the flavor of it, but this is actually really good. Now, what you have to do is, and it's going to be pretty much the same with the other type that I got, and I'll be explaining that in a minute, but um, you want to take not super cold water, but, you know, cold water um, doesn't have to be hot, doesn't have to be super cold, just maybe room temperature a little colder would probably make it easier. And I put it in my little bullet blender and um, I mix it in that and I just put some of the powder and some of the water, mix it, pour it into my jar that I'm going to be using. Well, let me show you that jar and what I do. Okay, this it's just a quart jar, and I ordered this, uh, I think, off of eBay or something. And it has a handle. It has a pop lid, and I can just pour it. And I mix it. I mix part of it I put in here, and then I mix the other part and put in here. And then I shake it, mix it too, and set it in the refrigerator overnight. And it's really good. It's not quite as good as fresh milk, but then I'm kind of spoiled for when my goats are milking. And um, I love my fresh goat's milk. But it is still really, really good. And since I don't have any goat's milk right now, I'm just having to drink this. But I was told that I have a little bit of a sensitivity to milk, which I have never noticed. But I said, okay, but I've been drinking it anyway. I can't do the wheat bread very well. But the milk doesn't seem to bother me that much. But I went ahead and did something else, which I'm going to explain right now. Okay. I've got five pounds of A2 slash A2 milk powder. <laughs> you say, what is that? Well, <laughs> we'll see. But they say it's good, so I'm going to try it. I'll let you know next month how it went. A2, A2 is actually, they don't do anything to the milk. They don't change it. They, they don't add chemicals as far as adding or taking away or anything. They have a breed of cows that there's actually two proteins in milk. I think it's A1, A2 or something like that. And this particular breed of cows don't have much of the A1 protein in it. It's mainly A2. And um, that's a good thing for people because people, if they're going to have either lactose intolerant or an insensitivity to it, it's because of the A1 usually in the milk. So this is called A2, A2 milk because their cows only produce the A2 protein in their milk and it's supposed to be easier to digest but it doesn't change the flavor that they don't have the other protein in it. 
So that's what A2A2 milk is. And they say a lot of people that cannot drink milk at all can drink the A2A2. Well, okay, that sounds pretty good. I'm going to try it. I I'm still missing my goat's milk, but we'll see because I, I really like milk. And um, the only other thing that I did get in my order was my minced garlic. Now, I grow my own garlic. I mean, I thought I had a big, huge batch last year, mainly elephant garlic. I had a huge braid hanging back the other side of my kitchen when you come in the back door. I had a big old braid plus other garlic besides that wasn't in the braid. But I went through it all. I had to save some to replant. So I replanted, and then um, my daughter and I ordered some gar just plain garlic, and I also planted a bunch of that this year. I didn't have too much regular garlic last year, mainly elephant garlic. So we'll see. <laughs> but I can, and I still have a little bit, but I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of garlic, and I love their minced garlic and flaked onion. It's so handy to just sprinkle in whatever I'm cooking is just wonderful. I just love it. This is an Azure Market brand too. But anyway, that's what I got for Azure Standard and their sales flyer for uh, March. I gotta look through that. Never know what you might find. Let's see what we can find here. Let me bring this over. Okay. They um, show you some of the stuff that they have. Um, discover the benefits of making your own soap and they talk about that they talk about some of the stuff that you can use in making the soap um, this is a wonderful little their little flyers are awesome um, here's some books that they have how to speak chicken <laughs> keeping chickens raising ducks this is just um, all kinds of stuff here supplements they talk about that um, they carry traditional medicinal teas. See, they not only have their own brands as your standard brands of things, they also carry other brands that are good, healthy brands. They have frozen vegetables because they've got a freezer on their gigantic truck. Um, they have baking powder, Epsom salts, uh, flour. Oh, I love their einkorn flour, but they were out. They were out of that too. Um, as your husband receives, they sell seeds. They tell about that. They have things you can read. Um, then you can get over here and you can look at all the different things that they have. These are flowers. Um, apparently that's their seed section. Ellie's Eden always organic plant starts. So I guess you could even order plant starts, which is really cool. Um, Plus, just their regular, all their regular foods and stuff that they have, too. You can see they have list of that. So, yeah, that's really cool. Um, I wanted to share with you, too. I've never done this until this, just this last fall, but I am actually um, working with them. I have a link. It helps me a little if you can um, use that link if you want to start using Azure Standard. So right below my video here that you're watching in the description box, I have a link. And if you'll, you can copy that and put it and paste it and go there. Or you might be able to click on it and go right to it. Um, once you get there at Azure Standard, from that link, a little box will pop up and put my code. And I've got that down below in the description box in there. And that way I get credit for you going there and ordering if you're not already ordering from someone else or um, that way it won't work if you're already ordering from someone else through someone else's link. But if you have it and you go through my, you can go through my link. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. But it's down there if you want to do that. If you want to try as your standard, they have really good food. And we will catch you all next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up and enjoy your food.